And as Katie mentioned, it's a little bit chilly and cloudy out there. If you're not dealing with some of that rain, this is a look at our camera in Metropolis tonight. You get a lot of clouds across the area. There were a few raindrops showing up on this camera lens, but it does look like those have at least dried out a little bit. Not the case for everybody, though. We do have widespread scattered showers making their way through the area. The pockets where we see some of these brighter reds and yellow showing up, maybe some steadier rainfall coming down. Down, but notice just how spotty these are. If you're thinking about heading to, out to Heron Fest or out to run any errands, I don't think you need to cancel any of your plans. Just have an umbrella on standby. The light rain is going to be sticking with us throughout the remainder of the evening and honestly into tomorrow as well. Check out these temperatures. Temperatures right now for most of us are back off into the 60s. Paducah is still holding on to 70 and Carmi at 71, but Marion's at 67 uh, along with with Cape Girardeau, Sykeston at 68, Ellington at 61 degrees. So it certainly doesn't feel like it's almost summer. It's a little chilly. That's going to continue to be the theme tonight and into tomorrow. Scattered showers will stick with us through tomorrow as well, but just in time for the weekend. If you have any outdoor plans or maybe you're attending some Memorial Day events, we are going to be tracking some much nicer weather coming our way. So this is what we have going on. This is actually what's been keeping keeping this uh, kind of rainy conditions around throughout the last couple of days. We have a big upper level low across the area. You can see that in the spin there that is just off to our west. This area of low pressure that's over our head is going to continue to push off to the east and right over us, keeping those rain chances around not only tonight, but for part of the day on Friday as well. I do think the rain tomorrow is going to be a little bit on the lighter side, so if you do get caught in one of those showers, it still should be pretty brief and pretty light. And then as we get into the evening hours, the clouds will finally start to clear out of the area. So some nicer weather is eventually going to be coming, but for tomorrow, some spotty light showers stick around. We'll kick off the day in the 50s and then high temperatures tomorrow only going to be 70 degrees, so close to 70 for the high tomorrow. Storm Track 3 app, you want to have that on standby. We're tracking some really big changes, so here's that area of low pressure. It is going to continue to move off to the north and east and by Monday, another big ridge is going to build back across the area. And as it does, we're going to be tracking some much warmer weather into Memorial Day weekend. Saturday probably looks like the pick day of the weekend. If you like some of those cooler temperatures, 79 degrees for that high. And then by Sunday, we're back up into the mid 80s. We always talk about Memorial Day being the unofficial start to summer, and it's going to feel like it. Lots of sunshine and then the high temperatures climbing up into the upper 80s. 88 degrees for that high by Memorial Day. We stay sunny and hot into Tuesday. We start to see some isolated storm chances coming back by midweek next week, and then maybe by Thursday, we start to get a little bit of a break from some of the heat coming back in. But I know a lot of folks like to get out and enjoy some of those Memorial Day events. You're not going to have any issues with the weather and then afterwards stay cool in the air conditioning, a pool, ice cream, whatever it is. That sounds All pretty good. good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, JC.